the robot workforce isn't coming, it's already here, according to CNBC's Melissa Repko. She's our retail and consumer reporter, and she joins me now. Melissa, these robots are popping up all over the place, but do they work? Hi, Kelly. Yes. Well, companies like Buffalo Wild Wings and Sam's Club are turning to these robots to do a variety of tasks, even things like fry chicken wings and, and scrub the floors or scan inventories for out of stocks. So they can perform these tasks successfully, which then makes you wonder what other kinds of jobs robots might be taking in the future. In a lot of cases, companies are looking to robots to do simple, automated, monotonous tasks. So think things like flipping a burger repeatedly or, or lowering chicken wings into a fryer or, you know, scrubbing floors is a good example with automated cleaners. What does it mean for workers? Right now, they might need robots because there aren't enough humans. But in the future, will they need humans if there's plenty of robots? Well, more robots could mean fewer people. But the employers I spoke to emphasize that robots can take some of the stress away and perhaps some of the boring tasks that employees may not want to do anyway. And in some cases, that may help with retention if employees have a little bit more time to tackle tasks that they're needing to do because of the rise of e-commerce or because they're, they're taking on new things. Like at Walgreens, they're using robotic arms, for example, to fulfill prescriptions. And that's coming at a time when pharmacy staffs are taking on a lot of healthcare services, like COVID tests and vaccines. So employers say they need to get smarter about the way they use their workforce, and that could change just the day-to-day -day for workers, too. Yeah, we were just talking about that. The pharmacies are completely overwhelmed right now, so it's an example of how they can help. Melissa, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.